This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine, let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Hide it under a bushel, no, I'm gonna let it shine. Hide it under a bushel, no, I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Shine all over St. Mary's school. I'm gonna let it shine. Shine all over St. Mary's school. I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. <gasps> Miss you girls. Now you need to let the light shine at your house and I will see you later. But wait, one second. I heard somebody that you might wanna meet. Janie, come here girl. Come here Janie. is Janie and Janie is the girl in our house because there's two little boys and a Mr. Fletcher and so there's just me and Janie and I miss all of you girls so much. folks so we're down here in Memphis today uh, this is you know Memphis has been on the on the news a little bit too much lately for the wrong reasons and unfortunately I'm here today for one of those reasons but um, I guess we're kind of hitting the ground running today a lot of traffic this neighborhood has a ton of people walking around in it uh, you know, everybody's wearing purple shorts right now there's a reason for that Two weeks ago today, Eliza Fletcher left the home I'm about to show you and never returned home. She walked this, uh, I guess it'd be a course, whatever, just, uh, route regularly. And um, this morning on September the 2nd, she uh, never returned home. I'm going to show you all the locations today give you a brief description of everything, but this video is gonna be about the locations. I'm gonna take you to everywhere that she was involved on that particular day that we know for a fact. I'm not gonna mention the suspect's name. This is an ongoing investigation, and um, I really don't want to uh, incriminate myself in any way by influencing anybody or anything like that. So yeah, Eliza was 34 years old. She was a kindergarten teacher and uh, I think it was St. Mary's Elementary. She had two kids, husband. Initially, her husband was uh, named the suspect for this, but that's about all the backstory I'm gonna give on this. I'm gonna flip the camera around now and show you her residence. We're not gonna get any closer than that. We're gonna, I'm trying to talk kind of quiet, show respect, and uh, after that, we're gonna start hitting the locations today. All right, I'm gonna turn the camera around and show y'all, it's right here in front of me. Thank you. 
right, folks, we're down here in the area of uh, Zach Curlin and Central Ave. But right here behind me, I'm going to show you a picture. You'll see this intersection right here. And I've got a photo of the suspect's SUV coming down through here, okay? This is where Eliza was abducted. They do have a memorial set up here on the side of the road. A officer told me that the memorial is where they found her water bottle and the suspect's uh, champion brand slides. There was DNA of both the suspect and the victim on those slides. It's important to know that uh, the suspect had actually been driving in the area for about 25 minutes. That's actually how they got the tag off of the security cameras in the area by doing all the reviewing all the stuff from this area. Anyways, I don't want to make this real wordy. This is a pretty emotional scene. Uh, since I've been down here, I've, I've ran into several people that seen me filming and asked what I was doing. I told them, and they were really, you know, thanking me for it. They said, you know, bringing light to her situation and you know letting everybody hear about it was something they would enjoy seeing. So you know. Anyways, moving past that, I'm going to flip this camera around and I'm going to show you uh, the little memorial set up here. This also is the same location of where they started Eliza's uh, run, to finish her run, and they ran from here all the way back down near her home, where I showed y'all a little bit ago. But I also want to add, uh, there's tons of facts in this, and I'm just trying to rattle them off. I don't do scripted stuff. I just you know tell the facts as, as I as I get them. And she was heir to a uh, billion dollar with a B. Okay multi-billion dollar tool company from her great-grandfather. I'm going to show you their graves later on in this uh, video. I'll show you his also because I'm pretty sure they're buried in the same graveyard from what I've, the research I've done. But there's no, there's actually no ties at this point. Like I say, we're just two weeks out. There's actually no ties at this point that tie the uh, crime to the money. We're going to go ahead and wrap this up. I'm standing right here in front of the memorial. I'm actually walking through it right now. And uh, we're gonna head on over to the next location. There's the memorial behind me right there on Central Ave, just up here from Zach Curling Street and uh, Central Ave intersection, right in front of the Earthquake Re uh, Research and Information Buildings. And with that, we're gonna go on to the next location. All right. So after the 18 minute drive, we arrive at Longview Garden Apartments. I'm gonna walk you through this video clip here. You'll notice ahead on the right, there's a red canopy. That canopy is in front of his brother's apartment. You'll note the green dumpster ahead on the right. That dumpster was seized 
and removed by the police and searched for DNA evidence. You'll notice the route he's taking. He turns right right there and you'll see that I follow the exact same path. You'll see a white car ahead of my car. He parked right behind that white car. That is him, the suspect, in the white shirt, walking down the hill towards his SUV. This is a side view. The arrow is pointing to the building his brother's apartment is in. And this arrow here is pointing to exactly where his car was parked. All right, folks, I want to point something out to y'all real fast. I'm in the car driving right now, but y'all can see the apartment complex right there behind me. I'm gonna bring y'all along with me. I'm gonna spin the camera around and I'm gonna do it instantly. It's not gonna be a cut. I'm gonna show y'all how close the apartment was where he was clean, where his brother lived, where he was cleaning his car out to where they found her body at. I'm gonna kind of bring y'all along. There's some kind of a big industrial building over there you see I've been driving for what you know about 35 seconds or so so I'm coming down here to the end of um, East person I don't know what road I'm on right now but you come out here you'll see it I'm gonna stop right here spin the camera around I'm gonna show you all right I haven't moved I'm still sitting in the exact same place now I'm going back I just came from that hill up there okay and right here, right there is where she was found at. So there's where she's found, right on the right side of your screen right now, where those balloons are behind those steps. And right over that hill about, I don't know, a quarter of a mile is where the apartment was. Maybe a, maybe a half mile, but just right there. It's an old rundown condemned house. These kind of neighborhoods, they call them trapped houses. But I'm gonna take y'all over here and show y'all a good close up view. And you can see where there's actually a shallow grave dug. I don't know if that was dug for her or if they dug that to eliminate the remains. She was here for a couple days and uh, I don't know if they did that to get rid of anything that was on the ground or and over here on the back side of the house. I don't know if anything happened over here or not, but I'm going to record it anyways, show y'all what the back side looks like. You guys know, want to say something real fast. This is a very powerful scene here. I mean, I'm literally nine feet from where a person was found dead just like nine days ago, I think. Right there. Right there. Person laid there for a few days decomposing. You know the motive behind this. I I hope more a lot more comes out in the court when this when this case is going on. So this one here just breaks my heart. You got a parent, a husband, kids, friends, family, students. Everyone's heartbroken today over this. Makes no sense.
folks we're here in Boulevard Tennessee we're gonna conclude this video here uh, specifically we're at Polk Cemetery uh, this was about a hour drive from Memphis so it gave me a lot of time to reflect on this and think about it and I actually didn't cut the radio on or anything and I really didn't notice that till I got here the whole time I was just thinking about this case and, and all the stuff and just an absolutely senseless senseless crime you know there was uh, nothing gained from this families um, heartbroken daughter's been lost siblings been lost mother wife beautiful lady had a beautiful future ahead of her gonna do some amazing things I'm sure but she is laid to rest in an absolutely gorgeous little cemetery and uh, when you come in the gates she's buried right there on the right you can't miss it and um, she's buried right near her uh, her grandfather there I'm gonna show you all that in just a second but before we get over to that um, I want to thank all y'all for coming and watching my channel uh, I really appreciate the support it helps me out a lot while y'all are here if y'all don't mind hit the like button go ahead and share it on your social media a lot of people love true crime they'd love to see this and that's your way I never asked for money or anything I never asked for anything at all donations uh, that's y'all's way of being able to help me it's real simple it's free this, this channel's free to everybody so uh, with that I'm gonna wrap it up prayers go out to this family and uh, Eliza's everlasting soul you know there's not enough you can say about this uh, my heart breaks for those kids and uh, just the family in general but those kids especially the loss the hole the void it's got to be gone I can't imagine I was at that house today there were toys and stuff laying around on the front porch and man it just even talking about it now man I have to be careful I'll get to cracking up on here and I ain't trying to do that right now so anyways we're gonna wrap it up prayers to the family prayers to Eliza's everlasting soul um, what else can I say I say that every time but that's just that's it I'm just gonna spin the camera around we're gonna walk over I'm gonna show you the grave and the video will end right there once again thank y'all for the support we'll see y'all in the next one bye Thank you.